try not to move away from the mic so you guys can hear me properly. So open, I'll touch that. So you should have used at least Cheat Engine at some point by now. And make sure you got all the uh, downloaded because we're going to need it in a second. So first thing you do is, doesn't matter what weapon you've got, either of them will be fine. So just start off by looking for, mine is five, as you can see here. I've got five rounds left. So I'm going to search for five. All right, take a shot. So if you had the assault rifle, it would be higher than that, but that's fine. Take a couple of shots, it doesn't really matter. So I'm left with four, so I'm going to scan for four now. I know almost for a fact it's this value here, but let's just round it down to the last few results. So Then we've got three, so there we go. Now take short, give yourself some ammo, let's say 100 rounds. And there you go, it's beautiful, it's that one. So what we then do, we right click on it and we say find out what writes this address, alright? and we've got nothing which is usually what happens you take a shot something happens and the good thing about this is you get de uh, this coming up so all we're gonna need this is so far what we've done before but something's gonna change in a second so um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna just go get this yeah so I've got a little notepad file I created here so we can uh, record some results so make sure you open notepad or whatever and uh, just gonna get this to yeah there you go that's all we need So we're going to store this result here and now we know almost for a fact sorry he's moving away from the mic we know almost for a fact that the um, this is the ammo decrement because there is basically deck right here so that's a bit of a giveaway so next first thing we're going to store is 45 capitals 45 B 75 F and that's the address we're going to look up in Ollie so 45 B 75 F 75 F and okay that close this now we can't attach Holly without uh, simply things that I did over a while and um, I mentioned earlier that I wasn't going to go over too much detail on Ollie and that is because Ollie can get really difficult and if you're going to do too, well it's not really difficult if you just dedicate some time into it but the problem is I don't want to spend too much time here so if I went and explained everything that's going on here it'd probably take about 10-15 minutes or so and I can do that if you guys like I can do that on, on the separate tutorial so if a few people request it I'll do a separate tutorial on uh, how to get these values through Ollie for now all I'm going to give you is all my comments here you can see all my comments and stuff and you see how I got this stuff by trial and error it's really broken down into that and and the more you do this the better you get at it so as you can see this is the address we looked for it's called decrement ammo here <coughs> and what we're going to do is going to change this deck into an ink so instead of decrementing we're going to increment so let's get that and as you see we're going to shoot now and our ammo doesn't decrement it now increases every time you shoot so it's not what the guys that made the game want us to do but that's what we're doing and that's it really that's what we're gonna do and there's a few more things here. if you take a break and have a read through these you'll you'll see what they do so here's our recall start function so all we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a bunch of these addresses and we're gonna work with them on our, on our DLL and that will be really useful you see uh, so first thing we're gonna do is gonna start getting some addresses and once again I apologize for not being able to get to show you how I got all these values I mean I basically just went and if you know assembly language, if you don't, it will be a bit more of a struggle for you. But if you know assembly language, this will be a bit easier for you. Now, remember, leave a comment if you'd like me to make a little dedicated tutorial. And if I get two or three comments, um, I'll post a tutorial within a couple of days, hopefully. So, Because it will only take me about five, ten minutes to explain how I got every single value here. But I don't want to do that if people aren't interested in knowing how I got them. But if you want to hack any game, then that will help you quite a bit. So... Um, Odds are most of you know a bit of assembly already. If you don't, then that's fine. You can also just ask me for help and I'll help you out. So, <clears throat> pause if you'd like. Read through all my comments here. And that, those are things that I, I got after quite a while of searching and stuff. So, here's our recall function start. So, first thing we're going to write down is... Um, so, you can delete this value now. We don't really... Well, keep it if you like. Yeah, just keep it. Either way, Ollie remembers it. So, keep it there so we know what address to look for later. Even though we're not coming back to Ollie later on so we need to get our ammo address so ammo decrease um, we need to get our uh, time between shots between oops, between shots and that's literally just rapid fire so rapid fire that's pretty much that um, what else do we need make sure you save this in case you got some sort of panel or something um, time between shots and then recoil 
um, is our next one. So that will be um, recoil and kickback, pretty much. So you got recoil, and then you got um, what else have we got? Do, 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 do. Yeah, and then we got last one is automatic guns. Now health we already ra uh, grabbed on the first or, or second tutorial, I believe the second um, chapter of that. Um, I believe we are doing the the only thing that's exact same as the console trainer is the health. Everything else is different. Um, like ammo, is, we're taking a different approach to um, stopping ammo from being decreased. Last time we were just spamming rounds. So we were just constantly filling the ammo stash with a ton of bullets. Now it's different. So what we're going to start by doing is we're going to start um, and grabbing this uh, recall function start there. Um, apologies if you can hear any noise. My, my nephew just got back and he's um, he's a bit loud sometimes. So um, it's going to go up a little bit. So first thing we're going to go is look for our decrement ammo. So as you can see this here. Um, we're going to have to store all these addresses and all the opcodes here. So first off, start off by storing that 45B75, uh, B75F, and then the opcode is opcode um, is well the up. I'll give you a choice here. You can either uh, just increase the ammo instead of decreasing it, or you can nope it. So um, that is um, uh, no up is basically 90. That's what it equals. So we're gonna. These are the opcodes currently being used. Okay. So I had a bit of a crash fraps there. So I'm gonna start the game quickly again. Um, so I kind of have to start it bef um, start recording before I start the game, or the recorder will focus on the game. <coughs> so what we're doing now, I'm just gonna attach uh, Ollie quickly again. Ollie debug. Uh, <laughs> Touch. So what we're doing now is we're retrieving our values into the um, we're, we're writing all our values in Notepad so we can use them in our code later later on. So all we got to do is grab these values and then jump on to um, code them. So do that. Search for that value as usual. Yeah, that seems fine to me. <coughs> so close this. Don't want that anymore. Um, raise this up a little bit. So. Um, like I said, I can help you guys. Um, I'm not sure if I, I said this um, a second ago on the last recording when I crashed, but um, if you guys want an explanation of how I did everything here, as you can see, there's a ton of comments. Um, then you've got to leave those comments, guys, and say you know that you want me to. I can simply. It's, it's not a lot of trouble for me. I just don't want to do it, and then no one wants to see it. Then it's a waste of my time and all that. So um, let me know if you're interested in knowing how I got every single function here and how I found out this and that and it's mostly trial and error I'm going to tell you it's not like oh I know for a fact that Rico is there it's not you just know for a fact that Rico's and and I'm a decrement on all that I've got to be near that area and it's really about guessing things and there is a lot of crashes involved especially if, if you're new at this I mean I'm not very I'm not very experienced at this either but if you're new at this you will get a lot of crashes I think even experienced people do it's just a matter of trial and error trial and error until you find these things so Anyways, I've written here. You should write these as well. I've written he these whilst um, whilst I wasn't recording. Basically, these are the things we need to retrieve. So it's ammo decrease, time between shots. Um, check whether it's automatic or not. So I'm going to make sure I didn't miss anything out. Um, so yeah, freeze ammo. That's the ammo decrease. Freeze health. We've got from uh, the second tutorial. Uh, well, part, part two anyway. No time between shots. That's rapid fire there. Uh, yeah, I forgot to put recoil. So recoil is our last one here. Oops. Actually, make it an ultimate recoil. So that'll be our re recoil is pretty much our biggest one to to grab. So it should be straight straightforward though. Anyways, um, so um, <laughs> so first one is our ammo decrement. So that's the one we were led to when we searched. So that's the one right here. So first thing we're going to need to grab is this address right here. So 45, ignore the zeros as usual, 45 um, B7 5, 45 B7 5 F. Yeah, oh, chisels. Uh, four, and that's what we need from there. Then what we're going to need to get is right def 
opcode that's our default opcode which is the one that starts off with FF0E now if you have um, ink here and modified it when I did then change it to deck please just double click it and change that just type that don't change anything else just that small text um, otherwise you're risking a crash now uh, <clears throat> I've said that's the default opcode um, well I haven't I'm just storing it there so um, that's our default opcode then our next thing to do is now this is something that's fully up to you. You can either know up this, um, or you can instead of um, we'll store the code to um, to increase it instead of um, decrease it. Opcode equals FF06. So in case you want to leave a space there to make it neater. Um, in case you want to increase the ammo instead of decreasing, something cool to do. I guess it looks good. Um, then you do this. Otherwise, I'm just gonna do this on my example. Use a 90 because that's what you know what you use. I don't know actually which one I'm going to use. I'll, I'll decide as I do, and you guys should do the same. And the next thing, so we got our ammo, and that's a fairly simple one. Then time between shots, yeah, it's this one here. So all we need to do is nope that, and then that will kill it. So uh, what this does is it resets the amount of time. So for example, you take a shot with your assault rifle, and the game uh, says you know we got to wait 300 milliseconds for example to take your next shot and what we're doing is we're saying you don't have to wait anything so we skip the function that resets the timer therefore the player can shoot as many times as they want so as you can see we change um, you knew about the ink anyway so I'll show you what happens when you change this to um, nope so um, uh, doo -doo -doo. so we're going to store our time between shots and the address is 45b is that right? Yeah, 445B75A. 75A. 45B75A. I prefer these in capitals, but 45B75A. Yeah, that seems fair to me. And the opcode, the default one is, so def opcode equals, uh, and that will be 8910. 8910. That's what it's at right now. So that pretty much equals this. So this is just a number version of that right there. So uh, def opcode equals 8910, yep. And the one we want to do, we simply want to opcode equals nop. So nop is basically 90, and that's what we're going to do uh, in our example. So then we've got recoil. Our recoil is a bit of a, a big one to do. Um, you'll see that when, when we code it, it'll be a bit complex because it's a series of them. So you got recoil. So I'm going to show you this quickly actually. So uh, binary, fill nops, and as you shoot, as you can see, I can spam and I can shoot as many as I want. Uh, same applies with the pistol, as you can see there. And this is why our gun disappears uh, when we're doing it loads and loads of times per second. Anyways, that's it. Um, so we've got that one. We don't need to touch it again. So, um, so we need our recoil one now. So these are a series of addresses. So recoil function end. So we need from here. Oops to there. That's something I found out. Now if you can't just do half of these, there's pro the recoil and kickback probably affect up to here. But if you leave if you leave that, this instruction will try and use this address and you'll see that there's nothing there and it'll probably crush it. So just use as many as I do. So um we're gonna go is four five B seven four five B seven is all we need. Um and then just copy that I think about seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because they all they all start the same and then they change. So that's zero A, zero A, uh, zero C, uh, zero F, and the next one is ten, fourteen, fifteen, and seventeen. And that's perfect. And what we're going to say, <coughs> we don't want to know what um, the the opcode we're going to set it as because it's basically uh, a no operation to every single one of them. So we're going to go. Um, 8B16, that's our first one. Uh, then 8B52, 8B52, um, 14. Just leave a space because it will simplify things for us to read later. And then 50. Uh, this is the biggest one, so 8D4C24, 1C, um, 1C, 51. Then 8BCE, 8BCE, and the last one is FFD2. So I'm just going to confirm they're all okay. So 8B16, 8B5214, then 50, then 8D4C241C, 51, 8BCE, and then FFD2. And that's beautiful. 
That's our recall 